Alright, what's up guys? So basically, you know, millions of people across the world updated their, you know, the, I believe it's iOS 11 is only supported with, um, phones, iPhones that support the 64-bit architecture of basically the hardware, the software, everything down to the core of the phone. So basically, um, I think if you have a 5S, you will not be able to use the new operating system, but I may be wrong on that. I, I read something about that, so basically anybody with an older phone will not be able to use the new update, but if you have anything higher than a 5S, you will be able to use it no problem. Now the main topic I want to talk about is the iOS 11. Um, so, I'm a, I have the iPhone 7s, uh, or sorry, 7 Plus, and you know I'm a very, I take a lot of portrait photos. I use the portrait photo method a lot on my photos. I use it basically a lot when I'm taking pictures of people, buildings, photog, you know, like just a bunch of stuff, especially plants and anything that I post online. So, uh, th yeah, another topic I want to talk about is the iOS new high efficiency, uh, pretty much spelled out or said as Heath. So, this codex has not been around that long, but it has been out. And Apple decided to go ahead and adapt that when everybody updated to the iOS 11. Now, the iOS 11. Uh, update included so this new codex you know pronounced teeth makes it so that the videos and the pictures you take is compressed even more and it's at a you know it's using the hardware to compress it instead of the software like it's been you everything's been using it for the very longest time so when you take a video it's can it's gonna be in a new format uh, H E V C or Heath. So what that's gonna do is for a lot of operating systems like v uh, Windows, iOS, Mac, Linux, Ubuntu. A lot of those operating systems are gonna have a very difficult time to be able to play back videos that you've taken on your phone with this new using the new codex. You can turn that off. If you go into, I have I have a few things here. Um, wrong one. Okay. Uh, so if you you know if you go into your settings app, you go down to the camera, um, not not the photos, but just the camera. You can turn that off in the formats. You'll see high efficiency, which is you know pronounced teeth. Uh, you know in the short terms, because there's there's a big long line of what the hell that means. But basically. If you want to view your any video you take after you've updated your iOS 11, you need to can make that format go back to the most compatible, which will yes go back to the old codex, but not even VLC player has um, is using that new format. It does not even support it yet, so. Um, but there is one thing to this. If you go ahead and plug your, you know, your iPhone into your computer, you start up iTunes, and if you import your videos that way, then it should force the iOS on your, you know, your device to automatically send over a converted version. So it might take longer just to send that over because it's sending over a converted version that will be compatible with your device and it's funny because not even Mac really supports this yet and they rolled it out on iOS 11 now that is the huge issue that I have right now is because yeah I'm a very vivid Windows user but you know nothing right now really supports this format which it should be the default format but it's not so in order to get over this issue that a lot of people are going to be start having, they're you know they're going to try and use Google Drive to upload the videos like I do, 
they're gonna have an issue because yes, Google Drive supposed you know supposedly fixed it. They did not. They still include the converted file, which mind you, if you take a three minute video in 4K, it's gonna send over that Heath file of the new compatibility and it's it's gonna be like a meg. It's not even gonna be a video because Google Drive does not really support it yet, which is stupid. So save you guys the trouble. Go ahead and use that most compatible format in the camera options in settings. Because if you don't, you're gonna take a very long, nice video or photo, and it's just gonna be you're not gonna be able to view, really view it or edit it in Sony Vegas. Uh, probably, I think Adobe Premiere supports this new file format, Heath, but I could be wrong, so if you like to take videos, I suggest go to the old format until it's widely supported, because you're not going to be able to edit your videos, you're not going to be able to even view them on your own computer, and just save your guys, you know, save yourself some time and trouble. Um, I'm going to provide two articles from Macworld and The Verge on the new iOS uh, image format, codex, blah blah blah. Go ahead and view it. You know, I I did not make these articles, so go read them at your own at your own free will. But they're very useful. So, ciao.